So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be going through all of the new features coming to Genesis part two um, for May the 26th. Now, sorry there wasn't an upload yesterday. Um, obviously, it was my birthday over the weekend. It was obviously April the 16th. And it's been a pretty big weekend as things have been opening up in the UK a little bit. So I'm feeling a little bit rough today. But anyway, we're back in with this. We're ready. And I'm going to be going through all of the stuff you guys need to know. Now, I am getting so excited for Genesis now because it's only a month and a few days away. And well, Card, if you haven't seen my last Genesis video, um, not the one on Saturday, but the one before that about the release date, is that we know there is... We have been told by Wildcard that there is going to be no more delays. So let's hope they stick to their word and there isn't that we don't get to May 25th and they're like, Sorry, it's going to be pushed back to June or something. So let's just hope for the best. I think I trust them this time. Um, yeah. <laughs> but if you guys do enjoy today's video and get all of the news you need to know, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Um, as we, we're obviously on the road to 200,000 and, uh, and it just means a lot to me. So let's get in with the news. So uh, this was obviously what I covered in... Um, we're only going to be covering like features, like items and stuff rather than like dinos. Um, so obviously that this is the Maywing, um, it's going to be the new creature um, which is coming to Ark and basically I will talk through the ones in the community crunch, just go over them quickly again. Um, it's basically meant to be uh, engineered to be the ultimate interstellar wet nurse and surrogate parent. In addition to automatically taking care of your babies in the Ark, the Maywing can steal enemy offspring by learning, uh, luring in their young. So it's pretty going to be a pretty crazy creature, hopefully it's not too overpowered but that is that. Now the one will come back to is in a second but I just wanted to say this is the new exo mech um, you'll be able to change the tide of battle and enjoy an aerial view or manage your base to perfection with ease but only if you pass the ultimate test so this is the new giant exo mech coming to the game but obviously as mentioned to you we're not going through the creatures in today's video we are going through the new features slash items so the egg incubation device i didn't really talk about this enough in the last video no need to fiddle around finding the right conditions for an egg when the mechanical egg incubation device can cook them to perfection and reduce the amount of attention required scrambled poached or fried so yeah this is the new um what, what it's going to look like in game and as you can see you've got a few of the babies um well baby wyvern there and a baby dodo um with the new egg incubation you can just keep on top of things and you won't have to constantly worry um i mean what about the classic days of just having some campfires in arc survival evolved with an egg <laughs> like just those back in back in those years ago in arc so obviously to now that we have the egg incubation device coming now there's a little bit of information but basically the egg incubator can incubate up to 10 eggs by keeping them at the desired temperature additionally the egg incubator is able to analyze the stats colors and uh, that a creature will have when it hatches before it hatches this allows the survivor to decide whether the, uh, whether or not to hatch an egg so that is going to be really really useful in the game and uh, hopefully they bring the, all of this stuff onwards into arc 2 um, I don't actually know. Well, that's the one interesting thing. Because Arc 2 is going to be more primitive. I wonder if, uh, yeah, I wonder if they're going to be ha having things like this. It'd be interesting. So, the next thing is the ammo box. Now, you may have seen this before. Uh, the ammo box is to store and distribute a variety of ammunition uh, across um, certain weapons. Um, and Well, they're saying possibly weapons, but they're more turrets. As long as it's supplied, the ammo box will ensure that all um, targets in the radius do not run out of ammunition. So it's just going to be a basically an easier way to make sure your turrets are filled up um, if they're in the radius of the ammo box. And I'm sure it'll be a pretty big radius, as a lot of people's bases are quite big. Um... Now, the next thing is the loadout mannequin. The loadout mannequin is capable of storing armor and hotbar items of a survivor. When it interacted, the loadout mannequin will equip its contents onto a survivor. So, it's something just pretty simple. Like, um, I've actually seen a little bit of artwork, like, further on from this one um, in the actual Genesis ship. Um, so, um, obviously, you're going to be able to walk in to your base in the Genesis map or wherever you are. And, basically, whatever you've loaded onto the mannequin, um, as long as it's got its contents you can literally just 
basically put it on and off. So rather than having to uh, select things over and over and over by putting this on and putting that on, you can just re-equip it all instantly. So that'll be so useful. Uh, the next thing is the tech crop plot. Now we are in space. There are some sort of grasslands on the spaceship um, in Genesis Part 2. But as we are on a spaceship, this is the new tech crop plot coming. Um, this is the tech tier version of the standard crop plot. Um, it helps plants grow quicker without the need of sunlight and have a greater storage capacity. The crop plots also refrigerate crops, making them more self-stable. Interesting. Uh, one of the benefits with the planned addition of the tech crop plot is that survivors will now be able to grow plants within caves. Interesting. Interesting. That's pretty cool. So, canoe. This is the new vehicle coming. Um, can't imagine it will be anything mm, like crazy... Uh, like anything that exciting but in a way it's kind of exciting for me I don't know why uh, the canoe serves as a portable method of traveling across bodies of water the canoe can hold up to three survivors and it moves faster with each paddling survivor the canoe may be a reskin of the dinghy from Ark's sister game Atlas and the canoe is one of the first vehicles to be get picked uh, to be able to get picked up and carried around by a survivor aside from the hover cell which is what we're going on to next but with the canoe I've seen in I could be wrong but in general this is part two. I've seen a lot of photos and artwork again of like streams of water. Um, so I can imagine us like hopping into our canoe to get round quite easily. It might become more useful than you expect. Now the next thing is something which is going to be a load of fun and I cannot wait to make my first video on the hover sail. The hover sail is a deployable vehicle that can be used to travel great distances in style. The hover uh, sail is able to host two survivors, one that controls the vehicle and one that can use weapons from the front. Performing certain tricks on the hover sail will increase its speed while making you look awesome and the hover sail uh, is one of the first vehicles to be able to get picked up and carried around um, uh, by a survivor aside from the canoe. So, that is the new hover cell coming. We've got four more things coming to the game. We've got the security system, which this security system enables the survivor to monitor an area through a linked network of cameras. Somewhat um, similar to the scout, from these cameras, the survivor is able to remotely interact with survivors and creatures. Now, if you want to have a little bit of an in-game shot from the trailer, this is exactly like one of the cameras um, which is in the game um, for Genesis. This background looks like Rockwell's innards, which is um, a, uh, a, a going to be a biome of the ship, um, as you sort of can tell in the background, the weird kind of thing. Um, and then uh, the Noglin, as you can see, this camera scanning it, and I wonder if they can break the cameras because in the trailer obviously the Noglin jumps and attacks or can it control one of your cameras that's one of the things we want to know um now uh yeah i'm sorry about constantly touching the hair it's really frustrating me need another haircut already and just because i had a shower my hair usually goes like down to my eyes here so i'm just I always like try and push it back um, so then it just, yeah, I shouldn't really be doing that in the video. Anyway, the minigun. Enough about hair. The minigun is a deployable weapon that can be used to rapidly fire at its target. The minigun requires the survivor to wind it up and it can overheat from overuse. When deployed, the survivor is able to better concentrate their fire on a target. So basically, um, it's going to be similar to the Halo. If you've played Halo, it's going to be similar to that turret. Um, there's going to be different methods. As you can see, you can hold on to it and fire it or it will have better accuracy when you've got it deployed like this pretty exciting stuff we've never seen a minigun really in arc before so that'll be nice now the final two things is the new tech bow come into the game the tech bow is capable of firing various different arrow types such as an explosive arrow now i did do a modded video on this um which pretty much had the same as the norm as this tech bow it can be fueled by element which is consumed at varying rates depending on the type of arrow that is being shot the arrow flies faster um the faster longer you charge it up the shot and at its highest speed it's like a regular bullet so that's pretty cool and the tech bow was cut uh, content from Ragnarok but then added to Genesis Part 2 which is exactly what I thought because it was meant to come to the game and there was a mod of the, this exact version which ended up stopped uh, being in circulation I think or like being involved on um, because of, I think they thought this one was coming out. Um, so the tech pistol is the final thing. The tech pistol shoots out a beam which will affect its target differently depending on its mode. The tech pistol has three different modes killing, healing and stun. These effects are amplified by the frequency of fire on its target. 
targets. So this is the tech pistol. We've got killing mode, healing mode, and stun mode. Now, killing mode is, I thought it was going to be red, but apparently this picture is blue. Um, healing mode, um, as you can see, it, they change shape as well, is um, in green, and the stun mode will be an orangey sort of color. Um, and you will be, from what I know, is you start with one of these at the beginning of Genesis. So that is all of the information you guys need to know right now for Genesis Part 2 in Ark Survival Evolved. It is on its way. I'm excited. I know you guys are excited too. This could potentially be one of the best DLCs we've ever seen in Ark considering it's the last one. And not only do we have this coming, but we also have the new RTS game mode coming. There's, there's so much we've never seen before and it's going to be an exciting time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.